Here we are with chapter two. We're going to be talking about navigating through PDFs and also saving our PDFs, opening and saving PDFs, and also saving as different types of formats. These are things that you'll be doing a lot of when you're working with PDFs, and so we want to show you how to make those happen. The first thing that we need to do is to open our PDF, and here in chapter two, our chapter two folder, we've got Plucky Pony Proposal chapter two. So if you double click that, it will open inside of Acrobat. Now, we had seen in chapter one that we can click on this button right here and that will show us one page at a time. This is where we're going to start. You could also do this with a keystroke, by the way. And if you hold down on a Windows machine, control and then type zero, or in a Macintosh, the command key and a zero, that will take you to the full page view. As we saw in chapter one, we can navigate around the PDF by using this toolbar. Clicking on the arrows will take us to different pages in the PDF. If I'd like to go to a specific page in the PDF, then I can type in this box right here, I can select the area I want to go to, I can type a number, hit return, and now I'm taken there. Did you notice something that happened? When I was on page three before, and I'll go back and forward to page three, you can see that the section numbering is showing right now for page three. To the right, you see three of 12. We have two different numbering systems inside of this PDF. We have section numbering, which is what's showing in the panel right now. We also have to the right of it, in parentheses, the logical numbering. You get to see this so that it's easier to figure out where you are in a PDF that has sectioning in it. A lot of legal documents, a lot of business types of documents will have sectioning in them. And so Acrobat makes it easy to navigate around. All you need to know is the actual page number, not the sectioned page number, but the logical page number. You could also type in section numbers as well if you happen to know them. But for most of us, it's easiest just to type in a number. So now we'll type in, say, number eight, and we'll go there. And now we're on page eight. You'll notice that the numbering has changed inside of the entry box to be the logical numbering, but as soon as I navigate out, it will switch to the section numbering. I'd like to go over to the Pages panel now, and we'll use it to navigate through the PDF. If you select a given page in the Pages panel, you'll see that the PDF will change over on the right. This is a really handy way to navigate through the PDF. You'll also see that it's a single column. Now, if we make the panel wider, then we'll get to see multiple pages in the PDF stacked up side by side. And you can see that happening dynamically as I widen the panel. Try that for yourself. Open up the page, go to the Pages panel by clicking the Pages panel button over there, and then click in the pull bar and drag it right out. Now we can see the entire PDF in the Pages panel at once. This is a really handy way to be able to navigate around the PDF. 